Christian. Hi there, guys. Welcome back. We're um, we're going to do a little sling um, enclosure today because we're super excited because we've uh, we've got through the post our delivery of a of a lovely two three centimetre sun tiger sling Piaminia. Come from that wonderful guy at Dave's Little Beasties. That's me. Yeah. That's me. So here we are. So this is basically, um, I've been asked to people, you know, what do I do when I get my slings? You know, what should, what should I do when I get it at home? So it's come through the post. So this is basically what, what I suggest we do. This is how I do it. Um, there will be other people do it differently. Um, this is, I'm just trying to share with you what I do and what works for me. So here we are. We've got a straightforward 32 ounce deli cup. Now I like these because they're really easy to come by. You can get plenty of them. And uh, they're nice and uniform, you can stack them, you can do whatever you like with them, they're really, really cool. So what we got is my own mix in here. This is a, a woodland mulch mix, which I make up myself, um, which I collect. Uh, it's perfectly fine, you don't have to do anything with it. Uh, I just use it as it is. Now if you look at this, if I show you, slings are notorious for drying out. This here is actually dry, it's just very, very moist. Now we don't want it wet, and as you see how it comes off my hand, this shows here that it is literally just very, very slightly moist. We don't want it where it's all cloggy and sticky. So as you can see, that is the perfect consistency for our, our new sling. So all we do is we put about so much in the, in the deli cup. Now we put a little bit like that in there because slings do burrow, although this is an arboreal spider, when they're slings, they do like to burrow. So, one simple piece of uh, cork bark. So we got one there with some little holes and bits and pieces, so he can either go under it or he can climb in here and hide away. And we keep this real simple, this is the key. Keep your enclosure simple for your slings. So that is all that is needed for this sling. That is perfect. What we don't want is so much stuff in there that he can't find his food. So, here we are. Our sling has come. We can't wait to see it. So what do we do? Now remember, this is only a sling, so we don't need to worry about it biting us or whatever. So we just take our bit of tissue out. Oh look, there he is. He's in the he's in the bottom there. So now then, so what we're gonna do is we we pull our bit of tissue out because the supplier here done such a lovely job he's done this to help us get our sling out you see look at that we can pull our bit of tissue out lose our pot our sling look at that he sat in the bottom of the tissue and he's not going anywhere is he oh look he says i've just come to my new home and then all we do is we plop that down there like that give him a little tickle there you go you're in your new home He's, uh, there he is. And that is basically the sling's new enclosure. Now, food-wise, this is what I feed my guys on. This is a young Red Runner roach. Now, this particular size roach is ideal for this sort of size sling. Now, he can have uh, one or two of these a week, and he will grow at a nice steady rate. Not too fast. He'll be just fine. So... What we'll do, ideally, you don't want to feed him straight away. We have just put him into his new home. He needs to settle in. So here we go. We've got, got our lid. We put that... Well, actually, before we do that, water. Now then, I don't give these guys a water bowl as such. So what I do is I use the cork bark to act as my water bowl. So as you can see on the cork bark here, we've... Uh, it's got loads of little nooks and crannies in it. So what I do is I literally, I just tip a bit of water in there. Now you can see the water just sits there. Now that creates its own little water dish. And it doesn't matter if it runs off and goes into the soil because that will just help hydrate the, um, the, the, uh, the soil as well. Bear in mind that your sling wants to be kept slightly, slightly damp. So I just use a bit of water in here. It will also get a lot of fluid from his food. And because we're feeding him a couple of times a week, 
we ain't really worrying about him dehydrating in that respect. He shouldn't do that. Uh, one other simple point, um, which is often asked, is with these slings, with this particular species, and most terrestrial species and things like that, there's no need for cross ventilation as such. So we've got our simple lid. There's no holes in this. This is one sealed pot. Our lid is sealed. So we've put a lid on there and that is that. So we've got no ventilation as such on this particular pot. Now that is helping with the um, humidity and it keeps it nice for him in there. If this was something like um, an avicularia or something like that, they do require a little bit more cross ventilation. But for this particular type of spider, it's not necessary. You're opening this up twice a week anyway to feed him. So you're getting a nice exchange of air and everything else. So uh, that is really, it's as simple as that. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple. Your spider's in there, he's not got too much room. You'll find his food nice and easy because there's no rubbish in there for it to hide in. And this is your aim. You just want to grow him on nice and steady until he uh, becomes a full grown spider. And obviously as he grows, you'll up his accommodation. But you can keep the same principles, just in a slightly larger pot. Right, well I hope that helped out and answered a few questions. Uh, just remember, this is just how I do it. There's lots of people do it different ways. They're all perfectly fine. But this is, this is what I do and uh, it works for me. So hopefully it will work for you. And uh, hope you enjoy. Don't forget, make sure you subscribe Hit the bell icon, we uh, get your notifications, hit the like button, you know this all helps the channel and um, helps us out and hopefully we'll produce a, a bit more and keep you guys entertained. Well, have fun, be calm, be gentle and don't forget, love your spider. See you again soon.